Some interactive reports use a pair of date filters to define the time frame for data to be retrieved. These are the include data from and exam date range filters. This first filter is relative to the current date and by default it's set to the current month. If you've opened up a report and selected a corporate account, uh, or in some cases select a facility, and see that no data have been returned, try specifying a longer time frame. You can do that by opening the filter and instead of having the current month, you could say the last three months, or the current quarter, or the last three quarters, etc. As you change values, you'll see that the filter updates to show you the time frame that has been specified. So we'll go for data for the current year, January 1st, 2019 to 1231, 2019. And now we can use the exam date range filter to refine this query to a specific date or range of dates within the current year. You can do this three ways. You can move the slider to change the start or end date. or you can enter a specific date from a calendar interface, or you can even just type in the month and day. One thing to note about the exam date range filter is that when entering dates directly, um, either by typing them in or by picking them from the calendar, you can go back and specify any date at all but that doesn't mean it's actually going to work and retrieve data if it's outside of this time frame specified by the include data from filter. So for example, if I wanted to look at data from two or three years ago and I change this year to 2016 and hit return, I'm allowed to enter that and it appears as if there's no data, but that's because even though I was able to enter it in this field, I haven't expanded the maximum time frame to include 2016. So to get this to work, I need to go in here and select the last three years. So now I'm now going back to 2017 and then click this to last four years to go all the way back to 2016. And now this exam date range applies. And it's showing me data in between the 14th of February, 2016 through the 26th of February 2019. And that is the way that the include data from and exam date range filters work in interactive reports.